So recently at a woodworking show, I bought some ArborTech carving tools, and I pretty much bought every carving tool they had. I wanted to try them out. It's something I'd seen on several different channels, and I was pretty excited about it. So I wanted to really throw something difficult at them, so I ended up using some pine boards, which is already, pine's already notoriously difficult to carve. Uh, but since they're rotary tools, it shouldn't be too much trouble. But then I glued them on their edge, and I bunch of different grain directions and changes, and so uh, densities, all that stuff. And this is really going to give this uh, these tools a run for their money. And uh, after gluing it up, I waited for most of the glue to dry, and then scraped it clean, and then sanded it out so I could draw, uh, you know, whatever I wanted to carve in it. At this point, I hadn't decided, but after watching a couple of YouTube videos, I remember seeing Dresta did. A skull and I thought okay you know what I've never carved a skull before that would be a really cool project to try so I drew this outline on a piece of um, cardboard and cut it out and then traced it with the pencil now I'm gonna go back in and kind of fill in the details and whenever I'm carving I don't like to trace uh, too much from side to side I will on some projects but if I'm doing something like this that's gonna kind of have a little bit of a lifelike character to it I want to actually pencil in all the details on both sides because it's those finer nuances, those subtle changes that really end up giving a carving a, a lifelike appearance. Now, again, this is a stretch here because I'm first time I've ever used these carving tools and, and I'm, I'm doing something that's not complicated, but it's a little bit detailed. So I carved, I drew up the, uh, the skull the, the way I wanted it and then threw the, um, the ArborTech uh, planer in and started carving away some material. And that thing worked amazing. I'm, you know, crossing different grains. I'm going through different densities of material, and it just was per performing great. Cut right through it. I was able to remove a lot of material very quickly, and that was kind of one of the things that really sold me on this initially was seeing how much material they they removed. So super happy about the the tools. They have all kinds of different attachments, and I was just I was trying each one of them at different points and processes in this carving. Now, I've never carved a skull before, and I drew this thing up kind of a little bit creepy because, I'm, you know, it's a skull. It's supposed to be a little creepy. Well, the further I got in the build, the creepier this got for me, and I'm not, I'm not you know, big on skulls in the first place, but, heck, I thought it would be fun. Uh, I wasn't real happy with the way the carving was going. The tools were performing amazing, so they, I was able to get into all these small, you know, like the eyeball and the nose socket and the mouth with some of their smaller carving tools, and then I was able to shape a lot of the outside of it with some of the bigger carving tools, so totally happy with the tools the carving on the other hand not so happy so this ends up being a pretty much a fail for me uh, I go be a little bit beyond this to the point where I'm going to start using some hand uh, tools to like shaping the teeth and of course with all the grain direction it being pine it was just not playing in my favor so ultimately I decided I'm just going to torch this thing I'm, I'm done with this I trusted the tools the tools are great I'm done with this build so I lit it on fire and it ended up being kind of cool looking you know because it was a skull and when I lit it on fire the there's fire in the nose and the mouth and the eyes and that was kind of cool uh, the angles not real good here I changed the angle in a second kind of give you a different look at it but ultimately you know if I I've been, I haven't carved anything for a while and I really wasn't happy with the way this was going so I just decided hey you know what um, I tested the tools, the tools are great, I'm done with this, let me just uh, get rid of this little project. So it, the, after the fire went out, I dumped a little bit of gasoline on it and lit it on fire again. And the funny part is, after I burnt it, it ended up being really creepy looking. I mean, like, not it's creepy, scary, creepy, cool looking. And you'll see a picture of that here in a second. Here it is. So this is what it looked like after I burned it. Now tell me, you know, that like looks like it came out of like a, some kind of horror movie. Uh, but hey, you know what? It was a fun project. I had fun using the tools. It did turn out super, super scary, creepy looking. Tomorrow I think I'm going to build some fluffy bunnies or something to kind of counterbalance the creep out of this thing. But uh, it was definitely a fail. Interesting project. Had a great time with the tools. And we'll be back soon with another fun project. Thanks for watching, guys.